Thank you for choosing the SoClean CPAP sanitizer from Better Rest Solutions. After a few simple steps, you'll find that daily sanitizing of your CPAP equipment has never been easier. Let's start off by getting familiar with the box contents. Along with the main SoClean unit, you'll find a user guide, power adapter, and an injection fitting connected to the SoClean by a length of hose. Along this hose, you'll see a check valve assembly. Installed inside your SoClean are a filter cartridge and a hose slot plug. Finally, included among these other items is a bottle of neutralizing pre-wash. The next step will show you just how to use it. Sometimes, cleaning agents you may have used can leave behind a fragrance. Or perhaps you received new equipment that may bear traces of manufacturing residue. Both of these can produce an off odor when used in the soak clean. So we've provided a special neutralizing pre-wash to eliminate that possibility. Use the pre-wash like you would ordinary dish soap. Add about one quarter of the supplied pre-wash to a gallon of water. Wash your mask hose and humidifier reservoir and rinse thoroughly with water. Besides doing this before using your soak clean for the first time, you can use the pre-wash whenever you hand wash your equipment or when you introduce new equipment into your rotation. The injection fitting establishes the link between the soak clean and your CPAP equipment. This fitting comes attached to the SoClean by a long length of hose. It also has a shorter length of hose coming from its interior. This shorter hose gets inserted into your humidifier tank. Do this by removing the main CPAP hose from your humidifier port and feeding the small hose in through the opening. Continue feeding it until the black plastic fitting is firmly in position on the spot where your main CPAP hose once attached. It may be necessary to trim the small black hose to get a good fit. You want it to rest on or near the bottom of your humidifier reservoir. Different reservoirs may require different approaches to hose insertion. If you have difficulty in this regard, please visit the model-specific video tutorials located on our website, or speak directly to a Better Rest representative for more information. If your CPAP unit has no humidifier, Remove the short length of black hose from the plastic fitting by pulling it straight out. Then place the fitting onto your CPAP machine in the spot where your CPAP hose once attached. With your fitting now connected, you can reattach the main CPAP hose to your unit, only now it attaches to the end of the SoClean fitting. If you have a heated hose that connects to and is powered by your main CPAP unit, you'll need a special adapter to continue using it along with the SoClean. Visit our website or speak directly to a Better Rest representative for more information. To set the SoClean timer, power up your unit by plugging the AC adapter into the back of your soak clean and then into a wall outlet. Now set your clock by pushing the button with the clock icon. This will prompt you to set the current time by pushing either the plus or minus button until your current time is reached. Then push the clock button once more to store your time and to return to the home screen. If you prefer your clock to display in the 24-hour military time format, press the plus and clock buttons simultaneously. You will then be prompted to choose either the 12 or 24-hour format. The SoClean comes preset to start a 7-minute cycle at 10 o'clock a.m. every day. If you wish to change these settings, 
it's easy. You can do this by pushing the hourglass button. You'll then be prompted to set the runtime, that is, how many minutes the SoClean operates during its daily cycle. Increase or decrease these minutes by pushing the plus or minus buttons. Five to ten minutes should be enough to completely sanitize your equipment. Now, push the hourglass button once more to set the time of day you'd like your soul clean to begin its cycle. Use the plus or minus button to reach the desired time. Finally, press the hourglass button one last time to store your settings and return to the home screen. You're now completely set up and ready to run. After the initial setup, using your soap clean is extremely easy. Begin by opening the lid and placing your mask into the chamber, allowing its attached hose to rest in the open hose slot. The soap clean gives you the option of inserting your mask and hose from either side of the machine. To change sides, remove the hose slot plug from its position by lifting it straight out and inserting it into the slot on the opposite side. Now, with your mask and hose in position, close the lid firmly, allowing it to snap shut. The SoClean will now operate according to its preset time and duration. Please note, the SoClean will never operate without the mask and hose present in the securely closed chamber. Neither will it operate if the hose slot plug is missing or improperly positioned. When sanitizing, even though the actual runtime may only be 5 to 10 minutes, it's important to let the mask remain in the closed chamber for an additional 2 hours. To assist you in this, there are colored indicator lights positioned below the clock display. Red means the SoClean is operating. Yellow means the cycle is in its 2 hour waiting period. Green means that all sanitizing is complete and your mask can be removed. For those times when you wish to sanitize your equipment apart from your scheduled cycle, simply place your mask inside the SoClean like you normally would and push the manual button. The SoClean will then operate according to your preset runtime. Your stored timer settings will not be affected. As you would during normal operation, wait for the green light before removing your equipment. Very little is needed when it comes to looking after your soap clean. Keep it clean and dust free by wiping it down with a damp cloth when necessary. The check valve assembly, located along the length of black hose, plays an important role in the soap clean's operation. This system prevents water in your humidifier reservoir from backing up into your soap clean. If you can see water in the clear section of tubing, you should replace the check valve assembly. We recommend regular replacement of the check valve assembly at six month intervals. To assist you in this, your display screen will flash reminders to make this replacement when that time has arrived. Another item that we recommend replacing at the same time is the filter cartridge. Both of these items can be obtained on the Better Rust Solutions website or by contacting a representative directly.